Well, the microphone on this thing is really sensitive, and the sound you're hearing in the background is my little space heater for down here. It'd still be very cold outside, and we uh, we got a brand new central heating, but uh, we keep it cool for our little pooch. He's got a big old coat on all the time. Uh, we are ready to continue having a great time with this game, and uh, kind of interested in how we got a little like a blitzkrieg going on here. These guys are moving quick and about. Uh, let's see here. It is we're rolling for the initiative, and it is the fall. The 1775. No reinforcements, but we did do a bunch of leader moving or relocating. Skyler is now in Worcester, Montgomery in Charleston, and I think they only are on a spot with one strength point. Washington, no, is still in Norwich with his four strength points. Arnold over here at Fort Halifax was one strength point. That is uh, about the uh, scope of it. Not much to go around. I don't know how much we can do until we get some reinforcements or some militias start popping up locally. In 1776. But uh, as far as the British go, we still got Dunmore here. We got Gage. Uh, we have moved somebody around. We per Burgoyne in, Ty in Ticonderoga. Clinton is in Northumberland. How? Is it St. Jean and old Charleston up there? There you go. We've moved it around a little bit. We're going to roll our die now for the initiative phase. Oh, tie again. What's up with these ties? All right. We'll have to see what happens here because they do say, I guess we'll do it this way. Draw a card. The colonial player will. And it is a British card. So the British can find out if they want to take it or put it back on the pile. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. I don't think so. Boy. Right now we're good on leaders and everything else. We're going to put him back. All right, now it'll be the uh, British turn. They'll grab themselves a card. It is a British card. And they're going to put him back also. All right, that is that. So whoever was the uh, last um, initiative winner goes again. Who was the last initiative winner? Uh, I think it was, the, yeah, it was the Colonials. So the Colonials will go first again. There you go. Colonials going first again. There you go. Just moving back up to a normal spot. Colonial down to his. There you go. With the British set to follow. The old X is a errata. There you go. Colonials are on it. Let's see what we want to do. No reinforcements. First action pulse of the fall of 1775 back. I'm going to take you down here at 9.4 rather than activating a single leader and moving him around to pick up adjacent units. Players can use a leader muster action. That's what we're going to do. This allows the leader to pull in a number of strength points according to its rank. So, alright, so what we're going to do then is come over here with Washington. And instead of activating him and having no cost, there's a little trail here that goes adjacent to Fort Halifax of Norwich. We're mustering one strength point with us here at no cost. So there you go, that'll give me five. Now we could muster units, all units adjacent, but these boys need to be here to, for a garrison. So there you go. Now we will still have an action pulse left over. That was at no cost. And we'll see what we want to do, what leader we want to move. We might end up activating Skyler because Gage can't move out. He's got to leave four in there. One loyalist wants to move on his own. Okay, we'll take a chance with that. But uh, we could leave a force in here and get at least one strength point from Skyler. So we'll try moving Skyler with the 
Yeah, fine. We got plenty of chances or plenty of time. Well, not really too much time. We got four action pulses to get something going on up there and grab those two cities. So Skylar will attempt to activate rolling one die, needing a five or less. He gets it. All right. So he will move with his one. Uh, flip this one on over. And we're going to have to get some change. But for now, we'll move him. One, two, three, four. And he could join Washington. There you go. Let me get some one strike point for Worcester. Be right back. All right, I want to make a correction. We had, during our free leader movement, Montgomery up here at Charleston just to maybe move a unit or so. We're gonna, I'm going to take that back. We're going to move him during his leader movement. I don't know where he was, but he's going back to Albany. So there you go. During it, uh, our movement pulse here now, Skyler left Worcester with one strength point there to Garrison. And he brought one on up here to Norwich with Washington. Washington now has, oh, let's see if we can do this. Four, five, and six strength points there at Norwich. All right, so that was his action pulse. Now for a freebie, what we get to do, let me, let me make sure this is correct. Be right back. I was wrong. I was going to start a fort with Montgomery, but that'll take care of an action pulse. The only thing that's free is completing it. So that there will take care of the colonial action pulse. We are coming up here to the, to the British action pulse. Let's see what they want to do. We'll be right back. Back. Well, we'll do it right now. We know what we want to do. We're going to move old Dunbar. He needs a five to get his forces going. I mean, he's got, I think, how many does he have? Oh my god. <laughs> he's got four. Yeah, the help is on the way. Let's see here. Going for Dunbar. He needs a number. He gets a one, so he's able to go where he needs to go his quickest way. Oh, and that's just it. Look at. Looky, 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 who's in his way, but he ain't got no strength points. So let's do it this way. Dunbar. One, two, three, four. Puts him in Albany. Albany has no strength points. So Montgomery will move one space away towards Saratoga. Dunbar will capture the magazine. And that will now be... A British magazine will done more. Let's just capture a magazine at Albany. That'll take care of it. We'll look and see if there's any free uh, actions the British want to take before we roll for uh, initiative. We'll be right back. All right, that'll be it. So we are at the all uh, very important phase right now of the uh, rolling for the initiative. That has big implications in this game right now. Who will make it there first? Dunmore or Washington be able to advance? They got it pretty well blocked up. We'll find out what happens when it happens. First, we have to look at the initiative. There you go. Four versus me. Three. Four. <laughs> oh. So. First initiative and the uh, colonial. What's going on here? The little boys are here, stay there. We're going to see what we're going to do. Be right back. We're looking for Washington's activation with one guy, six or less. Special, special uh, condition if he rolls a six. Be right back. He gets another one, another try. Gotta make sure this roll is good. He gets another six, he only gets two movement points. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, so he made it. He will get his full movement factors. Oh, oh let's see here. Huh. Ticonderoga or New Cumberland? Die roll modifiers. Die roll modifiers. Huh. Way 
who's up there. No units. This could be tough. Let's see here. I'll be right back. Alright, the only problem we're running into here now is the amount of forces. I guess once we get a, a fortress, we could use that as a uh, line of communication source and start pulling in some of these units. Uh, we will do that now by uh, mustering everybody next to me. So that will be free action. He's going to muster the men at Charlestown to come on into him. They're the only ones that's next to him. So we'll do that. We will roll for his activation. He just got activated. We'll do a muster action. We did that. Got those boys there close. We will move on to without leaving anybody at Norwich. Ticonderoga. There you go. We'll be right back with a oh. We're gonna. I think we're gonna have to assault that with a oh. Plus three gyro modifier. It'll show you the tail and tape here in a second. Be right back. All right, I think we make, need to make an important stoppage of gameplay. So what we are determining is the attacker and defender using this table right here, both the odds table. Uh, we're going to try to resolve that by going over here and looking at the playbook example as to how they resolve that. It's something we maybe should have done earlier, but we're going to check that out now because I'm kind of not sure about the way we're going about it. Either way is fine with me. We'll just find out the way they did it in the playbook example. All right, well, I figured it out this way. Seven strength points for Washington. He'll be rolling with a plus two die roll modifier for his uh, command rating, but versus that fortress will be a minus three. But with a 4 to 1 attack, he'll get a plus 3, so that negates that out with a net of plus 2. Now, what we're doing here is we're, we're this is only for the attacker. We're not doing this against the defender. We're going to change our, I think it makes a lot more sense now that we're playing the game. So we're going, uh, the garrison will only get a plus 1 die roll. We'll roll both the dice. The uh, garrison will be rolling on this table. And with his 7 strength points. Washington will be rolling on this table. There you go. Rolling two dice on each one. Now let me look and see here how bad we want to hold on to this. Because we do have cards here. Is this the way we want to use it? Or do we even... We're only giving up one. We can't give up Montreal. We might want to hold on to one of these cards. Or we might want to lessen the, lessen the blow. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Or if you're counterattacking, you can't use this one. Minus two to the amount of fire. I'm running low on the battery. Uh, we'll hold off on the cards here. And we'll roll right now real quick and see if we can get this in. Ooh. British. Putting up some good die rolls. There you go. Get your back with a 9, 10, 11 for the Colonials. 10, 11 for the British. The British with a minus 1 with 11 is 3 asterisks. Alright. 7 strength points. 11 is a 1 and a star, so. We will inflict one strength point loss. He'll end up losing this. We're going off to get the heck out of there. And we take the f oh, Fortress of Ticonderoga with no with minimal casualties, which means none. Let me see how I want to do this. Now I think of it is. Oh, shoot. We took all of our units out of Norwich, which was our LOC source. This will be our new LOC source. That's why I took my units out of there. We'll be right back. All right, then, I guess the thing to do now is, since we got most of the ways blocked, we'll take the disrupted marker off of Verdoin from his past battle. 
We're gonna roll for Doug Muller. Five or less. Get him his full complement of movement points. He gets a four. I Means he can go his full movement. We're gonna move him the back way and go. Oh, leave it. Oh, one garrison there in Albany with the magazine. It'll be a one, two, three, four. Putting him in. Ooh. Keta Riquid? Requi? Oh, God. All right, hold on a second here. Make sure we got all this going on right. All right. Move this here. He's got four. One, two, three, four. Puts him here. Plus, he gets another one. Five for being on the river. So one, two, three, four, five. Puts him in. Yeah, whatever one you want to call that. So there you go. Now, what we will do also is play a card. It has the poor boys. Yeah. So we got to do it to you guys. And we got to get to Montreal. Extended march. Getting two movement points to Dunmore. That puts him right there into Montreal. He is set to go. Great move, great move for straight points. Doesn't need to leave anybody. I guess he could leave some garrisons behind if he wanted to. Oh, that's a lot of garrisons. I wonder if he can abuse that, but uh, why not? It's kind of goofy, I guess. Let me read that over. It says you can leave him there without any uh, let me see here real quick. One more page. Uh, at any point during a British Army's movement. Oh, an army's movement. Okay, we'll take these things off. Garrisons, garrisons, garrisons. Garrisons off. He'll have to leave one strike point back here. So he will only have three. We want to make sure we uh, build that up. Okay, only during an army's turn, not ours here. So that explains a lot. We'll be right back. All right, then all the obnoxious garrison markers taken off. He will drop one off in Albany, though, to protect that magazine. And he is moving three into Montreal. There you go. That, again, it was a good move. Uh, thanks to the cards. The card play. So there you go. Sorry about the bad camel work. I'm only a one-handed operation. So that is great. That'll take care of the uh, British impulse. Move the marker on down. It should have been moved already. And we are ready to roll for another initiative. So far, rolls have been ties each time. Well, there you go, done more into Montreal. Washington's got his work cut out for him. They were able to get back in there. What can we do in response? We're back. Back here, closing out the fall of 1775. Like I said earlier, there's a whole track here for 1775. Let me head on over here. I guess there's only a... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I guess it's only a two-year game, but we go all the way up to 1782. Whew. All right, let's see what we can do here. We're still early. The British have managed to get a bunch of leaders up here where they need them. Uh, we'll see how good or uh, yeah, how far Washington can go. A lot of obstacles to eat up those strike points, but we'll see how it is. We'll get ready to roll right now for the initiative. for the Colonials. What will they do with it? Alright, Colonial Initiative. We only got one extra pulse left after this. And then things will change quite a bit, I believe. Alright. There you go. We'll find out what we want to do. We'll be right back. We are looking back at these victory conditions. And a key thing here, it says all these victory conditions are based on French entry. For some reason, I had some kind of mindset we had to get uh, Montreal and Quebec done before 1775. I think more things kick in. Right now, I'm looking at this. 
I got this impulse and one more to get all the way up to Quebec and get uh, Montreal. I don't think Washington's going to do that. He might get one of them. We're still working on it. But uh, uh, I'm just saying to myself, there really ain't no hurry. I mean, there is always a hurry, but we do not have to do it within the next two action pulses. And, but I believe it is definitely uh, well within uh, reach. Now, I also want to look over here again at these things here. And there you go. Loss of both Quebec and Montreal. So it's still going to be our goal, but it might not be within reach until next year. And we're in the fall. So I just want to make that little note. Uh, we're getting ready to make our action pulse for Colonials. Be right back. All right, I want to zoom in here on Montgomery and Saratoga. Come back here, if we may. On down here to the. We've done this before. Leader muster actions. Rather than moving up to pick up units. Oh, that last muster action I had. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody noticed, but uh, we went ahead and mustered when we could have just picked them up along the way. But well, we did the muster anyway. Nice to nice to muster. <laughs> we could have picked him up on the way. I did see that. All right. So anyway, he expends his action pulse uh, and rolls for activation. If successful, he can pull into his location any friendly st strength points. All right. So this will be the uh, this will take the colonial action pulse, and I'll roll for my activation for. Uh, who was that again? Oh, I forgot. But anyway, uh, oh, how many does he have? Montgomery needs a four or less to be activated. So come on, Montgomery. Oh, no good. All right, well, he only gets two. So let me, let's see what happens here. If successfully, he can pull into his end of location according to his rank from all adjacent spaces. This is his action pulse, and he can perform no other action. If the space the leader qualify for an army creation, this can be done no further. All right, well, huh, what are we gonna do here now? It's successful. He can activate, but he can only bring in, I mean, either way he's gonna be successful. He's not successful in his full movement, so we will have him go around and pick everybody up. He gets two movement points. This will be one. It'll put him into here. He'll pick up some. He'll pick up a point here at Northfield. And then two will put him here at Brattleboro. I've never heard of these places. <laughs> All right, but hey, like I said, not a big historian. So let's make sure we did this right. He was at Saratoga. He got he could go two movement points. Uh, one here, this is one. Then two will be the river, and that puts him in a Fratall born. And he has got his two strength points. And now here's the deal. We had these strength points here to keep us a line of communication. Now we got this big old fortress here. That'll be our hub. Uh, key points are also, uh, what do you call it? Line of communication sources. You can be, I think, the number of movement points you can be away from is six. Now it comes to a uh, debate on whether you need to keep them garrisoned or not. Uh, I think on this game I did see the uh, empty spaces revert back to the original owner. And the original owner in this game is, the uh, by default, the English. So we will have to see what's up. I think we got... One, two, three movement points to that one, so he's got a good line of communication. Whether I have to have these garrisoned or not, we'll have to go look. We'll look at that really quick. We'll be right back. I'm coming back here. The key spot right here being Colonial uh, supply sources are control key spaces not under enemy control. So there you go. We're good on that one. Uh, like I said, uh, those are mostly there to hold on to. Supply sources, which are all those keys, but we got Saratoga now, so he went ahead and took his uh, action policy, gathered up some forces that'll take care of it. I don't believe we want to spend any uh, movement points to create a fort or any entrenchments. He's 
None of them were in the build space, I think. No, nope, we're all good. All good. All good. Oh, we got down here. Yeah, we're good. We got some strength points down there, though, in the south. All right, but in this game, you can only move one stack each turn. All right, that'll take care of the uh, colonials. We are going to go up here to the British turn. There you go. Let's see what the British want to do. Be right back. All right, British action. Pulse marker move down. I wish to activate my loyalist in Boston. I wish for him to take. Ooh, this route. One, two, three, four. And his destination, I think, is Norwich. It depends on how much. He can roll a D2 or 1D6, and we'll have a minus 2 on the result. So there you go. Rolling 1D6, minus 2 on the result. His maximum would have been 4, which I just showed you his route. That's the way you're really supposed to play the game. There you go. That's what you've done. So he gets a 6. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4. And he will join Clinton. Up here in Northumberland. We'll be a garrison there. We got two or one strike points of British regulars. Just helping out the cause, but that'll take care of it. We will now roll for initiative again. And, uh, it'll be the last action pulse of 1775. We'll go into winter and there'll be some uh, winter rules we'll have to check out. Let me look and see here real quick on the well, it's still the British turn. Yeah, we're good. We don't have nothing going on here with the card play. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm going to make sure I refresh myself with the cards on both sides. Oh, yeah. Okay, enough right now. Now what's going on? Card play is good. We have some good cards here. And just, you know, since this is a solo learn-through game, we're really close to uh, winning this game. We need the two. Get Montreal, Quebec, play a card, and uh, British political will is at zero. That's the game plan. We'll be right back. See if the British can, can stop their defeat. We'll be right back. All right, we're rolling in for the last impulse. It's 1775. This is getting kind of long, so we'll call this a video. Oh, the British win. So here you go, a little bit of reverse it here. And the British will take the first action pulse. Colonials get the second. First move there, the spot down here. And there you go. Now, what did the British want to do? There really isn't anything else to do. I guess I could, let me look around. See, I think it's mostly trying to turtle up and uh, hopefully we get some reinforcements here. 1776 for the Colonials. British, yeah, we can see here. I can't see because of the glare, but I see there's a bunch of them maybe coming on in. Oh, we're removing units. Uh, we'll see. It looks like a bunch of them are pouring in, you know, so it's going to be a new game after the winter. Very important. Last action pulse for the British. Find out if they have any options. Be back. All right, we will zoom in on the map. Told Mr. Clinton in Northumberland. Kind of not doing nothing there. Don't need him. He's got two uh, strength points. One's a loyalist. He's got a garrison in there, and they are entrenched. Now what we're going to do is leave the garrison and the entrenchments there, but we're gonna move old Clinton to a quick reaction spot. We don't wanna we don't wanna give up this spot over here. We don't want to put him in here because then he get a sweep on in and head to Montreal. It's just likely to defend it. We are going to move him to St. Francis. Hold on for a clear my throat break. Alright then let's see. Clinton needs a five or less. I believe that'll be the best move. We're gonna see what happens with the We'll put on the last fulfilled movement for General Clinton. He gets it. So he'll move his full oh, movements. He will take his oil list and his regular. And I'll put the regular on top. There you go. And he will move one, two to St. Francis. He will right, wait right there and see what the Colonials decide to do. Oh, Arnold's still at Fort Halifax. Alright, that'll be it. 
Next is the last Clodo Action Pulse of 1775. It's the last Action Pulse of 1775. There you go. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to end the year with uh, Montgomery. Just link it up with Washington. I think when he pulls in there, that'll give Washington nine strength points to go for the win. Next four action pulses of the first uh, action cycle of 1776. Can we pull this off? There you go. So first thing we got to do is get a four or less for old Montgomery. Come on up there. Wanting to bring two strength points to Washington and Ticonderoga. Oh, he gets in with a three. Uh, let me see here. Ooh, there he is. He's got his two. He will go one, two. Ooh, just makes it. Oh, well, he gets his full four. That's right. One, two, three. And he is in there. Let's figure out this stack. He's bringing in two, four. Five, six. You know, we can get changed and everything, but we're going to leave guys behind and everything like that, so let's leave them in loose numbers. But we got three generals there now. Oh, Montgomery, Lewis ranked. Skyler, second ranked. And Washington. Now, starting in 1776, we'll be able to form what's called armies. And we'll be able to use, throw in our second leader's uh, strength plus. Oh, we could do some of our cards for those tactical leaders. All kinds of things that happen, but for right now, we're going to call this a video. We'll end with Washington. Nine strength points, two generals, and Ticonderoga. There you go. We'll be back.